Another mask mandate went into effect today, this one in Daytona Beach. City commissioners voted on Friday to enforce the policy requiring folks to wear a face covering indoors where they cannot socially distance. News 6's Lauren Korn shows us that many are following the rule, but there are exceptions to it. More people than not wearing masks while walking around A1A as it's the first day of the mask mandate in Daytona Beach. I've been out here since Friday. I've been seeing a lot more people here today. Shoppers like Linda Herman says she's also seen more people wearing face coverings. In the last couple of weeks, less people were wearing masks, so I'm glad as of today they started wearing them once again. In order to stop the slope and the slide, we have to consider something. City commissioners voted on Friday to enforce the policy, requiring folks to wear a face covering indoors where they can't social distance. Warnings will be issued for those choosing not to wear one. However, there are exceptions. Children under two don't have to wear a mask, people who are exercising, and those with certain health conditions. Wash up, back up, mask up. It's the city's latest effort to slow the spread of COVID-19 and comes a day before Volusia County promotes its Step Up Volusia campaign. Now isn't the time for the community to let its guard down. Only recommending county residents to follow CDC guidelines when out in public. Please care. If you don't care about yourself, care about your loved ones and others in the world. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.